What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna be testing and reviewing probably the hottest art supply here in Poland and that is the colored pencils by another art youtuber Olsikova. And she released these already a while ago so I'm quite late to the game but well I just wanted to check these pencils out for myself because I did see a lot of mixed opinions on them so I want to know whether these pencils are worth investing your money in or you should just, you know, skip it. So well, if you're excited to see how those pencils are gonna perform and what my opinion is going to be on them, then just make sure you stay with me and keep on watching. And one thing, I don't know if you noticed already, but for all my Polish followers, for this video, as it is a Polish product, I decided to upload Polish subtitles, so I hope you guys will appreciate that. And now let's just go straight into today's video. So here's how the box of the colored pencil looks. It's made in the form of a book that is divided in two kind of parts that you can open. What's really cool is that those parts have magnets in them, so it prevents the box from opening randomly. Once we open it up, we can see that there are color charts with the possible color combinations. For me, that's quite a necessary thing, but I bet that for someone that is rather new to color pencils, it can be really, really helpful. Then once we open these two parts, we can finally see the color pencils. These, as you can see, are also secured by magnets, so they won't open in any undesired moment. In the box, we're getting 24 pencils that we can theoretically, as the company says, mix together to achieve 250 different shades. Also here you can see that there is a place for swatches that you can do yourself, which I think is a pretty cool feature of this box, but I probably won't use it because I like to keep all of my color pencils or marker swatches in one place so I can grab it whenever I need to, you know, look for some certain color. Anyway, one really cool thing about these pencils is that their names are not any serial number or some, you know, really complicated name, but they are called, for example, lemon juice, ocean waves or caramel. And I think that is something that gives this kind of personal touch to the product and I really, really like this feature. And well now, since the box is kind of clumsy and it'll probably take half of my desk space, I just wanted to take those plastic trays with the pencils out and take a closer look at the pencils themselves. One thing that I noticed right away was that those pencils seemed a bit shorter than the usual color pencil. I compared them both to the Prismacolor Premier and Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and indeed they are shorter, around 2 centimeters, I would say. After first impression, time for swatches. I did them in my sketchbook that I will use to do the original drawing later on because like I already told you, I like to keep all my swatch pages in one place and therefore I won't use this uh, swatch card that is included in the book because that's just not my thing, you know? Anyway, the color seemed quite nice and well pigmented. The color scheme of the pencils in the box is also quite well done for it to be only 24 colors, so I can't complain about that. I do appreciate that there are two light skin tones and three shades of brown, and that's, I think, quite much for it to be only 24 set. But on the other hand, there's too much blue shades, and I would really like to exchange them for maybe another pink shade or some grayish tone, but that's just my personal preference. At the end of swatching process, I wanted to compare the pigmentation of the pencils to my favorite Faber-Castell Polychromos and the Prismacolor Premier and see how they perform in comparison to each other. And well, here I didn't see that much of a difference because uh, all of those three swatches seemed really, really similar, but I do see some little drawbacks, little differences, because the pigment of these pencils, those Antler Art pencils, is a little bit skippy sometimes and the formula is not that consistent. And now it's finally time to do the drawing. Today I won't be focusing on showing you super much of the sketching process, I just wanted to have the sketch done and show you the coloring process because this is what we're focusing on today. And today I will be drawing a girl with a cat because you guys seem to really enjoy seeing me trying to draw animals and I also want to get better at that, so I thought that today's video is gonna be perfect for that. So well, like usual, once the sketch was done in pencil, I outlined it a little bit and then erased the excessive lines of the pencil, so I just have a clear outline to work with. 
And then I was thinking in my mind if I should only go for colored pencils, which I rarely do, honestly, and that would be, you know, a good way to test these pencils. But on the other hand, I never use color pencils solo, so I thought that I would just, you know, give them a fair shot in this test and I will do a marker background for my today's drawing. I will just put one layer of color on each section of the drawing and then I will shade everything with color pencils. So once all of this was done, I started off with shading the face like I always do. And here I was quite surprised because those pencils were really nice, the colors were absolutely fantastic for shading a light skin tone, so I was really happy about that because those light skin tones tend to be a little bit tricky sometimes in different sets of pencils, so these colors were on point, I need to say that. And well, I quite enjoyed shading her face with those pencils, but what I didn't like that those pencils were sometimes smearing some dirt around my drawing and I could see some, you know, dark spots that weren't there appearing on my drawing. And that was just a weird thing because that never happens to me when I use other color pencils, so well, I need to blame those pencils for that. And now when it comes to layering those colors, it's okay. It's doable, I need to say that, but there are some limits. Of course, there's gonna be no problems with layering up to three, four colors or four layers of maybe the same color or two colors. I hope you know what I'm saying. But once you kind of exceed this limit and, you know, go really hardcore with your layers, then you might come across some problems because then the surface of your drawing is becoming a little bit slippery and it doesn't absorb the pigment well because it's already this kind of protective layer that just won't take up any more pigment and then you're just left with what you managed to create. So that's a big drawback for me because I like to layer my pencils a lot and I like to come back to different places of the drawings and, you know, touch up, finesse a little bit. So I just don't like to be limited with the amount of layers that I can put on my drawing. And then another thing that is a result of the fact that you can't layer those pencils that well is that at some point they become streaky. It's either if you didn't manage to place your colors correctly and then you're running out of your amount of layers that you can put, or something that I noticed with the lighter colors and uh, one brown shade, is that in some pencils, I bet that you guys experienced that, you have those little pieces of um, different colors in it. For example, the brown pencils ha sometimes has uh, yellow or red uh, dots of pigment. And when you just use this pencil, you can see those uh, red or yellow streaks in your brown color. And this is what I experienced with those pencils, especially with the uh, medium light skin tone and one brown shade. It was a little bit annoying, I need to say that, because that's the feature you mainly come across when it comes to cheaper pencils. And these weren't particularly that cheap. And for the last thing, I need to say that this drawing wasn't that demanding when it comes to how much time it should take. And usually I would finish it up in maybe like two, three hours and it would be really finessed. But with those pencils, I had an impression that I needed to put really much time and effort in making it look good. And that's something that I don't like again, because I really treasure the products that will give me the comfort and the joy of work and that will eventually save me up some time on, you know, trying to make them look good. So that's about this. So that's about the thoughts on those pencils that I have for now. Now I'm just gonna finish up this drawing and show you the full process of it. And later on you're gonna obviously see the finished drawing, the finished result, so you would be able to judge for yourself how does it look. And then also by the end of the video I will tell you my final thoughts on those pencils and I will tell you if uh, you should consider buying them or maybe not. So I hope you guys stick with me till the end. Fooling round and all your rhymes 
romancing the madness You got me good, baby Keep on coming back to you I know that you know it Cause you already messed it up So now it's time to sum everything up and maybe we should start from something negative to end this video on a positive note. So starting from the cons of uh, these pencils, I would say that if you're looking for something professional, for a professional art supply, these might not fulfill your needs. I would rather advise you to go for a Faber-Castell Polychromos or Prismacolors because they are just the top of the top in this category and I don't see the point, of course, if you can afford this, in buying something so-so if you can have something that is 10 out of 10. So if you're looking for a professional art supply, I wouldn't advise those pencils. Also, another thing that is corresponding to that if you want to use them in professional work while doing some bigger artworks, you will always need to take them out of this box and just put them in some pencil case or just uh, use those plastic trays like I showed you in my video. But I don't see someone, you know, always carrying them around in this box and then using them while they do their work. It's just a little bit uncomfortable in my opinion. So that's about the negatives of these pencils and and now let's speak a little bit about the positives. So first of all, if you like Olshikova and you like what she's doing, I think that buying those kind of items from the creator is a great way to show your support and show your uh, gratitude for the content she's creating. Another thing is that these pencils are just a great collector's item. In my opinion, that's the whole point of doing those kind of pencils. It might not be to make the best professional art supply, but it's rather about the whole experience with it, the whole kind of packaging, the design and everything, so I would rather treat this as a collector's item than a professional art supply. And if you also have some spare money to spend, then why not? You should go for them. And well, that would be all for today's review of those color pencils. Definitely let me know how did you like my today's video. Maybe I should do those kind of tests and reviews more. Let me know what do you think about that. And well, I'll be wrapping up for now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here and supporting me. And well, lots of love to you. And well, I hope you're having an amazing day, a creative day. And well, I'll be seeing you soon in my next videos. Take care, guys. Bye. I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now